Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Simple here. And in this video, we are going over a couple small mods that I found while kind of browsing the workshop. A couple of them I thought you guys might be interested in. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, you may not have noticed, but I kind of redid the intro to the series and kind of changed the thumbnail and I guess you say kind of created a mascot. Uh, the C, you know, the C with the simple. Um, I thought I'd actually turn that into a little character, so I want to hear from all of you out there, kind of see what you guys thought about it. You know, I think the thing is kind of cute. Uh, I'll continue to work on it, but if you have any ideas for, uh, for, you know, a, a different type of intro, some effects, something like that, please, you know, comment down below. And of course, if you are enjoying the channel, if there's things you'd like to see, uh, with the channel, you know, whether it be games, tutorials, uh, mod reviews, whatever it is, uh, definitely comment that down there as well. That lets me know what you guys are looking for. So with that out of the way, let's kind of hop right into it. And the first mod that we're taking a look at is something called the Medieval Torches and Braziers uh, version 1.05a. Uh, this is really cool. It brings in a bunch of... Ooh, that is loud. I'll make sure I'll turn that down in the... Uh, editing software but it brings in all of these cool torches um you know some wall torches actually just one wall torch but the cool thing about this is the majority of all these the ones that are actually lit can use wood thatch and actually coal and the ones that are not lit strictly use coal so if we come to like this one uh in here so must contain coal for fuel Cooks raw food when lit and gives out heat. It will also keep meat for slightly longer. And so, this is where it gets kind of interesting. So, the mod creator says that you can use the coal that you'd get from the holidays. You know, when you have the gotchas out and uh, raptor claws is out and you get the coal from that. I tried throwing that in here and nothing. It just kicks it right back out. But to make coal, there is a coal generator right here. So if we go into here, what you do is you throw in some stone with a little bit of oil, some fuel to get it running, and it produces its own coal. Now this is actually called fuel coals, so it is a little different. So if we take this, and it does take about five minutes, uh, was it five minutes for three coals? Now, I've had these things with, like, one coal, and it's been burning for a while. So, let's, uh, you know, let's throw some coal. Yeah, let's throw some coal in this guy. So, if we take this, throw it in there, light fire, take that out. This thing will burn for a while. And it burns for a long, long time. So, that is kind of the nice thing. So, even though it takes five minutes for three, one coal lasts a decent amount of time. And even with the wood. So this just has wood in here. Or did have wood, so it's already consumed it and it's still burning. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so that was the first mod. I thought that was kind of nice. Uh, pretty recent mod. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be little tweaks as they fix it. But, uh, oh. In order to make this, it actually wasn't too bad. Um, and most of the other things. I think everything to make was like stone and wood. That was really it. But for the coal, you need cementing paste, electronics, metal ingot, and polymer. So it's not super expensive, but you can put it down. You don't have to have like a generator or anything. You just throw some fuel in it and you're off to the races. And of course, the medieval one. So if we go medieval, here's all of the kind of medieval torches and and uh braziers and and all that so oh look i must have did i not put that one down i could have swore i put that one down oh yeah i did it's the tiny one back over there it looks so much bigger than the picture so if we throw this in here light it there we go now we got tons of light tons of heat 
All right, so now let me show you the next one. Let me uh, switch it to day real quick. Uh, if you ever want to do this, you can just hit, oops, wrong button. You can just hit tab and then go to set time of day. Uh, this is really useful if you're in creative mode. Um, we'll just set it to 11 o'clock. There we go, nice and bright. All right, so you may have noticed that I'm on something really, really flat and kind of interesting. So, let's hop down and I'll show you what this thing is. And jump. So, these are flying islands. I thought this was actually really cool. I like the effect of kind of like, almost like a little jet engine underneath. And like, upside down trees and... I don't know, like, underwater coral. Well, it was kind of weird, but I thought it was really cool. So, there's three different ones. You have... your small your medium, and then your large. And it's pretty good size. I mean, if we come up here, you could put a decent sized little base on this, and you could throw it anywhere. You know, anywhere that you can reach out in front of you, you can place this cool little island. You know, a good way to definitely keep yourself safe, uh, keep your animals safe if you want them kind of out of the way, not on the ground. I uh, thought that was really cool. Now, the nice thing about these is you can also change the look of it. So... By default, you get this grass look. You just come over here, go to sh variant structures, you can change it to wood. Got a whole wood one. Uh, your stone. Uh, your forest. Kind of dead forest leaves. And then your concrete. I believe that was all of it, right? Yep. And then your default is kind of the, I don't know, grassy, grassy floor. But yeah, you can just put all these all around your base. Or all around the map, and you could have yourself a nice little protective area that you can put a little mini shack on or something. So uh, I thought that was really cool. Um, and they're not pricey to build at all. Uh, so let's go into crafting. Just put in island. But it helps if I know how to spell. So the small is 75 stone, 50 wood, and then 175, and then 125, and 100. So, it's not too bad, uh, resource-wise. Of course, you could change this in your server settings if you wanted. Um, you know, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult for your players to be able to uh, spawn these in. But, by default, it's pretty affordable. And, literally, we'll just bring this down to set one out. You just put it down in your hotbar. And, it just hangs out in front of you. Then you could put it wherever you want. So, we could even put it right there. So now, it's just under the water. I wonder what that looks like underneath. Can we get down under there? Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. So, that one's just hanging out under the water now. But, let's get back out of here. So yeah, this was just a real quick kind of uh, mod review. I found these two. I thought they were really neat. And I uh, thought you guys might appreciate it. So if you liked it, please comment down below. Hit the like button. Uh, subscribe. You know, that definitely helps out the channel. That lets others know uh, to check out some of these things. So with that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you guys make it a wonderful day. And as always, keep it simple. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.